Good evening and welcome to Morris's Midweek Message. Thank you for joining us this evening and uh, please join us again on Sunday morning at 11 o'clock for our morning service. These last couple of months have brought new words and new phrases into our vocabulary. Uh, we talk about social distancing now. We talked about lockdown. And we've mentioned something called PPE. And of course, personal protection equipment has become vital and important in the fight against COVID-19. Our health workers and those who work in our nursing homes need PPE to keep them safe as they work with those who have had this infection. Personal protective equipment. And as I was thinking of that, I thought of what Paul talked about in Ephesians when he said that we were to put on the whole armour of God because we need protection. We need something to help us as we face the difficulties and the challenges of life. So let's read what Paul said in Ephesians chapter 6 and at verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armour of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armour of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me, that whenever I speak, words may be given me so that I may fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly, as I should. So here's Paul talking to this little beleaguered church in Ephesus, being bombarded from all sides by all different sorts of allegations and threats, all Paul believes coming from Satan, from the devil. And he's telling them that they need help. They can't do this on their own. Indeed, Eugene Peterson in his translation, The Message, puts it like this. Be prepared. You're up against far more than you can handle on your own. Take all the help you can get. And that's what Paul is saying to the church at Ephesus. And that's what he's saying to us. Put on your spiritual PPE. And then you'll be able to stand. And when the battle is over, you'll still be standing. For the next three Wednesday evenings, including this one, we'll be looking at two of the aspects of this armour that will help us and for tonight we're looking at the belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness. Paul's thinking here of how a Roman soldier is dressed and he knew very well 
what a Roman soldier looked like. In fact, now that he's imprisoned in Rome, he's chained to a Roman soldier all the time. And it was that thought of a Roman soldier getting ready for battle that was uppermost in his mind. Just an aside, you'll notice that all this equipment leaves one part of the Roman soldier's body completely exposed. And that's his back. A Roman soldier was to go forward into battle, to fight fearlessly and not retreat. So let's look at these two aspects of his equipment and see how Paul places them in a spiritual context. The first he says is the belt. The Roman soldier's belt allowed him to have his arms free. It was from the belt that his sword hung, ready there at an instant to be taken and to be used in battle. But it allowed the Roman soldier to be set free when he didn't need to fight. And the truth of God's word is the same for us. To know it, to have it in our armory is so important. To hide it in our hearts, to read it daily, to get to know it better and more fully each and every day. You always discover something new in passages that are familiar. The context in which you're living, the situations that you're facing, you see as you read God's word that it can meet the challenges of the day. And so the belt held the tunic in place and it also was the place to keep the weapon that his life depended on, his sword. Then we look at the breastplate. And the breastplate protects vital organs, particularly the heart. And we all know that the heart is a pump that pumps blood around the body, but we also use it for our emotions, don't we? We talk about people's hearts being broken because, well, they've been dumped by their girlfriend or their boyfriend or whatever. When you're a teenager, that seems to be the most terrible thing in the world. You talk about your heart being broken and so many songs have been written about broken heart, including one from Elvis Presley. So the, the heart, we reckon, is the seat of our emotions. And, and that's where the devil quite often tries to get at us with jealousy and pride. Where we get hurt by what other people have said. Where he whispers in our ear, you're not good enough. You're always making mistakes. You can never be a follower of Jesus Christ if you do the things that you do. He tries all the tricks in the book. Yet the breastplate, God's breastplate, protects us, protects our heart from all these attacks. This breastplate tells us that we are his children that we are always his children, that we'll always be his children, that he will protect us and guard us and keep us. So for this evening, let us think upon these two things. The fact that we have the truth, the truth of God and his spirit dwelling within us, we have his protection because let's face it, Satan always tries to get us at us through our emotions. 
It's the easiest, it's the quickest way to derail us from our task. And of course, if a Roman soldier is facing the enemy, they will try their utmost to kill him. And what better place to bring a life to an end than through the heart? So here we need this protection of God. So tonight, be assured that no matter what you're facing, God has given you your own personal protection equipment to protect you against all that will be thrown at you and come against you. You've got his truth and you've got his breastplate. After the prayer, we're going to listen or you can sing along with an army of ordinary people. But let's pray together. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word to each and every one of us this evening. We thank you that you are concerned about keeping us safe and well, physically and spiritually. And Paul reminds us of all that you give to us to keep us safe. Father, we have learned about your truth and about your breastplate today, that belt of truth, the truth that if we hide it in our hearts, gives us such encouragement when times are difficult. And how you protect our heart and the seat of our emotions from all the attacks that Satan will bring upon us. Father, we thank you for your love and for your protection of us. We pray, Father, too, for those who are working in the front line of our health services, working in our nursing homes and in other important places and doing other important jobs. We pray that you would keep them safe and well also. We thank you that the number of deaths from COVID-19 have been declining. And we thank you, Father, that soon we may be able to meet up together in each other's homes and we thank you for that but we pray that you would continue to protect those who protect us guard them and keep them those who have got this awful virus we pray that they may recover quickly and well from this illness father be with us this night. You're the God who protects. Protect us by your spirit. And, we, and may we, like the Roman soldier, go forth into battle, knowing that we are protected by your spirit and by the equipment that you have given to us, the armour of God. May grace, mercy and peace from Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with us all this day and forevermore. Amen.